Welcome to Unit 1.2. In this unit, we're going to learn how to automatically name ranges as well as inserting a named range into a formula. As we learned before um, the previous exercise, we highlighted and we went to our name box and we typed a name and enter it. Now let's take this particular exercise as an example. I would have to highlight these cells, click up there, name it January, name it February, name it March, name it Gauteng, name it Cape Town, etc, etc. So that would be a lot of work, especially if you had a lot of columns. An easier way to do this would be to highlight the whole thing, include your headings at the top and your column on the left, and in the formulas tab, select create from selection. Over here, I make sure the top row and left column are selected, which means those are my headings, and they are going to form the basis of the named range. Click on OK. And as you can see, if I click on the drop-down list now, I have a named range called Gauteng, I have one called February, all just on the one click of a button. It is a lot simpler. And now I could obviously do it like we did before, double-click, and that would give me the sum of Limpopo. Perhaps March, etc. Okay, so that's a lot quicker, especially if you have, say, 24 months or two financial years running across the top. You would just highlight everything to include the month headings and create from selection. Sometimes when you type a formula, you forget what you called the named range. So you could use in formula and it will drop down a list if you've forgotten what you called it. Otherwise, you could also say equal sum and push your F3 key, and that will also bring up a list as well.